Welcome back to the channel everyone. Before we start, may I ask you to lower the discrepancy between the subscribed and unsubscribed viewers of the channel, please by, of course, subscribing. Please also help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Thank you. I have done a video a few weeks back about how you can make your PC interact with your phone, and, in the process, also be able to control your phone, and even make calls, open phone applications from your PC and more. You can check out the link from the video description or the one that will pop up in the top right corner of the screen, if you want to watch that. But that said, did you know that there is a native Windows application that can also let you connect to your phone and then let you answer or make calls, read and send text messages, manage your notifications, photos and music directly from your PC? The application is called Your Phone. It comes pre-installed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 OS. If you don't know anything about it, don't feel left out since the app is not really advertised that much. But after watching this video, you'll definitely know more about it. Let's get started. Okay. First is you need to make sure that your PC and cell phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi is the bridge that will connect your PC to your phone. Since your phone application is already installed in Windows 11, the same thing for Windows 10 users, we don't need to install it anymore and instead, just search for it from your Windows PC. Let's open the application. Let's click the Get Started button here. We have an instruction here on what to do from the phone side. Let's do that. I will open Chrome from my phone and then go to the site mentioned in the PC. That URL will take me to the Your Phone Companion application of the Play Store. Which we should install, of course. OK. Let's open the application. Going back to the PC, let's now tick the checkbox here, indicating that I have the application from my phone already. Then click on the Pair with QR Code button. Alright. QR code has been generated. From the phone side, let's now tap the link your phone and PC button. Then continue. Let's allow everything. Then let's scan the QR code. We have more permissions to allow here. Let's just allow everything here. Allow. Allow, and allow. There we go. We are now connected to the PC. The PC side agrees, saying we are all set. Let's click continue. Let's get started again. Put the your phone to the taskbar. Why not? Let's go with yes. And we are presented with the four main functionalities available to Windows Your Phone application. Managing the notification, SMS, photos and calls. Let's click the notification here. We need more permission from the phone here. Let's click the open settings from the phone button here. There you go. It automatically opened the setting from the phone side. We just need to toggle this on. All good. Automatic response from the PC side as well after I toggle the setting from the phone. Now we are on the notifications on the PC side. Let's compare the actual notifications from the phone. Look synchronized to me. Let's clear one notification from the PC side. Now let's see if it was also cleared from the phone side. Yes. Instant synchronization. We have the four toggles here from the PC side. The do not disturb, Bluetooth, audio, and music. The music toggle here let the your phone app control the music playback from your phone. For example, let's open the Radio Garden app here from my phone side. Now, keep an eye on the lower left side of the Your Phone app. Once I hit play from the radio app of my phone, a music player interface will also appear on the Your Phone app in Windows. This will then enable me to control the playback from Windows. Let's hit pause for example. There you go. Once I close the Radio Garden app from my phone, the small player from the Your Phone application in Windows will also disappear. We can also see the phone name, the battery percentage and connection status at the top. At the bottom part we have the four main features that we can control on our phone. The notifications, which we already explored earlier. Next is the messages. From here you can read all of your SMS messages, as you can see here. Let's try to reply to one message here. Let's select this one. And I'll reply with OK. Let's end it. OK. Message sent. On the cell phone side, let's check if the OK message was really sent. There you go. It's here and was sent. We can also compose a new SMS message here in the Windows Your Phone side. What's amazing here is your phone can also get the full list of your phone contacts. As you can see here, when I type something in the two text box, it drop downs the contacts list. This will be so much convenience, especially when you are texting a long message which you can type using your PC's keyboard. Really great. Now let's go to the photos, where you can view all the photos from your cell phone. Do note though that this includes pictures only and no videos. You can get the photo from your cell phone going to your PC, but you cannot upload a photo from your PC going to the phone. 
it's a one-way streak. Let's open one photo here to show you the options of what we can do with the photos. First of all, you can easily drag a photo from the app going to your desktop, and by doing that, you have already copied the picture from your phone to your PC, as you can see here. You can also delete the photos from here. You can do a save as which will let you save the photo to any location on your PC. You can also share the photo via nearby sharing, email or by other applications like MySus, for example. Now let's go to the calls. Let's click the Get Started button here to connect to our phone. Let's end the permission to the phone again. OK. We are in. Let's make a call here. There you go, the phone has been remotely triggered to call the contacts I'm calling using your phone app from my Windows PC. Nice. Let's hang up now. Let me quickly show you the settings now. In the general section you have the badges and banners options. In my device you can see the connected devices, and you can also add more devices to connect to your phone app here. You can also remove a device if you want. For features, you have the notifications options on where and how it will be displayed. The messages options on whether you'll allow to see SMS messages, some MMS options, and SMS notifications options. The personalization gives you options for wallpaper, select a theme for the your phone app, and to turn on the audio player options which I've shown earlier. We also have the troubleshooting, feedback, community and about here, which are not that important to explore anymore. And that's basically it. It is not fully featured like the MySus application, but it is a decent cell phone controller. We don't have options here for a two-way upload and download of any files between the phone and the PC, you cannot open any apps from your cell phone directly from this app, you cannot share screen with your phone, and many more unavailable features. But despite of that, I think it got all the basics that most people will need when remote controlling the phone from your PC. The badges for notification are great, since you won't need to shift from your laptop to phone anymore to check them, and your phone app got more points on handling the messages, since you have the full control of the whole SMS messaging app from your PC, which I think will be the most used part, if ever you are remote controlling your phone from your PC. Like I said, your phone application doesn't have all the features, but it got the most important basic features that any users will need. Alright. I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Naba Air.